Welcome everyone, peers of you know your program who invade the most successful story and person here in UAE. Today, from Omar Kuwain City, we invade the owner and the director of Crispo Snacks. العزم باد وحضر كانوا على غيص وسيف ناس يشتب هالظهر والطيب يجسونه بطيب وفي عيالهم يجنى الثمر ما بين طيار وطبيب ومهندس ينتج فكر ويطور العقل اللي بيب this is Chris Food Company. We established in the year 2008 into producing high quality snacks. From 2008 till 2013, we have been producing excellent quality snacks, and because of our quality. <laughs> ويضخ من حب My great regards and my great respects to His Highness Sheikh Khalifa, my respects to Sheikh Muhammad, my respects to all the other Emirate uh, Emirs and Supreme Council members of all the other Emirates as well. Peers of you know your program who invade the most successful Australian person here in UAE. Please uh, today welcome with me Mr. Pravin, the director of uh, Crisp Snack Food. Welcome, Mr. Hi, uh, welcome. Thank you very much for inviting me to the program. Please. Uh, please welcome. Can you introduce uh, yourself for the, all the public? Yes, my name is Praveen Vishwanath Subramanyam. I am the chair, uh, CEO of Crisp Snack Food Manufacturing. Mm -hmm. I am an Indian by nationality mm -hmm. and I was born in Andhra Pradesh in India and currently I am based in Mumbai and I have started this company way back in 2008 in United Arab Emirates. I have been a passionate lover of snacks and having almost around three decades of experience in the manufacturing, processing, marketing of snack products. Mm -hmm. And this is one of my biggest achievements to have the snack products liked by all in the entire Emirates and also in the other AGCC countries. Mm -hmm. We speak about the idea of the business for you, Mr. Why you choose this? Uh, Absolutely. Very interesting question you're asking me. Mm -hmm. I has been uh, since a very long time a foodie. When I say foodie means I was very much interested in food business. I started it off 
as a career in way back in 1987 and when we when I started to work in a small factory manufacturing snacks and slowly and steadily I grew up from the that business I went to different parts of the world studied the mechanism of working in snacks and then slowly and steadily started building up my career in the field of snack making. Mm -hmm. uh, you chose UAE for the business before 13 years. Absolutely. Uh, so uh, why UAE? Uh, the UAE was a very good investment attractive country when I decided that I wanted to set up a unit. Mm -hmm. Things were very much clear, everything went very well. The setting up of the business was in a jiffy, I can say. Everything went off very smoothly and in a matter of days, we were able to set up the factory and start the productions. Mm -hmm. So that was a very remarkable achievement of UAE governments to support the initiativeness of investors who wish to set up the businesses over here in UAE. We want to ask Mr. Traven uh, for the, your beginning business here in UAE, the challenge, same uh, difficult. Well, to be very honest, there were challenges obviously in a, whenever you start a business there are challenges to be faced into but the type of challenges what we faced here was very marginally I can say and possibly I can go to the extent of saying there were nil challenges as far as the uh, governmental processes were concerned. Obviously businesses do have uh, challenges in terms of marketing but having an uh, in-depth knowledge about the business and also about the way businesses run over here, it was a very smooth sailing since the beginning. Can you speak about uh, your relation about uh, uh, with the roles here in UAE? Is easy in this business? Very good. Yes, the rules and regulations are pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. As an honest businessman, if you follow the rules, everything's fall, fall in place. You don't need to uh, go here and there. If you follow the rules, things are very simple. Support of government, exceptionally good. Municipality services, the economic department services, the departmental services of various customs, ports. Absolutely, they help us a lot. Very, very much they helped us in the initial part of our businesses. They guided us for that matter. Where things were not known to us, then they caught our hands, took up step by step, and explained us how to do the businesses over here and it was an exceptionally good way of uh, getting a business empire or business setups over here in UAE. Mm -hmm. You know Mr. that uh, every business uh, successful story or business needs uh, someone, people uh, who support this business, who support this businessman. Who support uh, Mr. Pravin? Well, when we started, we started in the Hamriya Free Zone the directors over there were very cooperative with us. They helped us in the initial stages of setting up the businesses and all. The customs in Hamriya Free Zone, they were helpful to us. The municipality, the municipal departments, they helped us in setting up. So it was basically a collective effort of the various governmental departments who envisaged that a business could survive and sustain. Mm -hmm. And in all the uh, time we were with them, it was a very good uh, model for us to set up a good business environment within the Emirates. Crispo is actually one of the best uh, snack companies in the UAE. They are the only company that's doing uh, health products for the schools and uh, they have very quality products and many varieties as well. And we hope that uh, businessmen in this exhibition will gain from their products. Inshallah. Now we need to uh, ask about uh, Crispo. This name we have 30 years. I mean, many people here you know, know this name from uh, the baby. You know this Absolutely. Name. So uh, can you speak about the product, the different uh, uh, product now? We have changed many things in this uh, uh, product. Absolutely. When we started, we were very uh, nuanced in the trade. We did not know much how uh, and what people liked. We did a lot of research. We did, went into small, small details, went to the souks, went to the markets, went to the malls. And 
what we discovered that what the local people and in general the Arabic people's tastes were. Mm -hmm. We did some sensory evaluation of the products, we did trials and errors of very many products and then slowly and steadily we started. What we do now is we have baked snacks, we have fried snacks, we have pellet snacks, we have popcorns and we have roasted nuts. These are our primary business uh, modules for, where we cater to the local clientels. And in this local clientels, we are well entrenched into the school business. For the last so many years, we were number one in supplying our products to the governmental schools as well as to private schools. We supply almost around 1000 schools in UAE and which includes the private schools and the governmental schools. Earlier we used to do it directly for the last three years we are doing it through contractors but we are there to support and children are our best medium of advertising. Yeah, right. So, uh, Mr. Uh, probably you know that uh, every businessman have some strategy in his work. So, uh, what's your future plan now? Well, first in the initial stages we were trying to build up our brand. Now the brand has been well accepted all over the country. Not only in UAE but also in the other AGCC countries. Now our next goal is to set it up in a different direction and to invest in certain other mechanisms of uh, machineries etc for us to have a larger variant of products in the snack business. Now the, these days we would be going in for healthy snacks because that's the norm of the day. Everybody wants to have healthy snacks. There's a lot of talks going about obesity. There's lots of uh, talks going about junk foods. But our products are not junk foods. They are absolutely good healthy food because we use only natural colors, natural preservatives, natural flavors. We do not have any artificial ingredients input into our products. Thereby, our products are cut above the other available in the markets. Yeah. Uh, after this experience, uh, Mr. Etraven, should have you some motivation message for, for all the young businessmen and so on? The, well, the motivation to this is that the government of uh, UAE has been supporting every SME businesses in whatever way they can and all those who wish to set up a business over here in UAE have a very good opportunity to do the things with the assistance of the local governments and the federal governments to get themselves entrenched into starting up small small SME businesses and as per my experience I can say there's no other country like UAE to set up a business. Thank you uh, so much for uh, this interview, Mr. Craven, uh, the director of uh, Kirispo uh, Snacks Food. Thank you so much. We are so happy to meet, uh, uh, meet you like a great example of a businessman. Yeah. You're most welcome. Thank you so much for the time uh, you have spent with us. And I wish everybody good luck. Thank you.